What's going down, tech fans? Today, NVIDIA has dropped a brand new driver. The 465.89 is live. The question that we're going to be answering inside of this is what does it change? On top of, well, benchmarks what has happened between driver to driver. We'll be comparing the 461.92, which gave a little bit of friendliness in the installment of the 460 series, but let's be real here. We probably won't see any drastic improvements up until probably we're looking at the 470 series, but not to say that this driver isn't good. My name's Mac, you're at the MacGyver 7 channel, and today we're gonna be digesting some tech news. As part of digesting what is happening at the gate for DirectX 11, just as a nice pixel teaser to see what has changed before we go to the benchmarks of patch notes following after that, we're looking at the situation of the flowchart of the for and after. What we're going to be looking at is hardware accelerator on on the top, hardware accelerator off on the bottom, brand new driver on our right, so that's going to be the 465.89 and compared to what's going to be yesterday's driver we're going to start seeing some improvements now not percentile changing but if you're looking at the graphics department in 4k and the uplift you're getting is roughly about almost about 100 give or take and like the hardware accelerator off and on there's barely any difference like it's literally by a point when you look at between the physics the graphics and the combination score but let's go ahead and slide into our patch notes just so you can see right now 4K, DirectX 11, it's looking pretty cool for a lot of people that are playing. Popular question though, a lot of people always ask, well, can it run anything that's like part of my gaming collection? That's a good question. If you're experiencing some issues, drop a comment down below. If you're like, hey, out of nowhere, now my Warzone screwed up, or out of nowhere, this Apex Legend run is like screwed up. Whatever your gameplay is that you're fishing for with like having your KDR be affected by FPS, drop a comment with what GPU and CPU in tandem. It's very interesting to see what other people end up running into. But let's go ahead and slide over to the information station. As usual, the technical notes will be listed and linked down below in the description for most people that want to read through NVIDIA's PDF. Spans quite vast, as you can see that we can just scroll down for days, but the easier way to digest it personally myself is I like to go into the NVIDIA Reddit. It gives us a little bit more of a what's going down. So the game ready driver of the 465.89, which has been released, has addressed some certain things. Dirt 5 and the ray tracing update, just like in videos spur off with what's going down with AMD, they did the same exact things yesterday with their 21.3 series installment. And if you are an AMD fan and you have some AMD GPUs, I highly suggest watching that patch note I've just released yesterday. Pretty cool. For the most part though, there looks like, continuing on with Nvidia news, the launch of the Evil Genius 2 and World Domination. On top of that, Kingdom Hearts series on the Epic Games Store, which is kind of cool, that's pretty unique. When we look at the technology is including support for the resizable bar inside of the RTX 30 series of desktops in the notebook GPUs included the beta support for virtualization on GPUs. Okay, that's kind of cool. So they may be giving us a little bit of the support of possibly just giving us text, but I don't know. Reality is until I see it like drastically look over and so far this driver looks pretty promising, but it's not the one I'm looking for. That's in the horizon. They added support for as far as the CL.3, the major versions of CLs and maintaining backwards compatibility, also having the 1.2. The OpenCL will continue with the 3.0 for as far as support inside of the exiting portions of where they'll be getting towards that. But as we go down in the application profiles that we'll be looking at the SLI, I know SLI, it's so hard to hear that word, that terminology nowadays. <laughs> Who's doing that? But apparently there are still some um, Turing GPUs only, apparently. Where you can get the medium and another title directly in there for as far as your dual GPUs. I was hoping for a little bit more support, but who knows? I guess it's ray tracing all the way. Tensor cores, baby. Which we'll be looking at Port Royale. That was a really cool one, honestly. But other changes that they have looked for for as far as support from the DP to the direct HDMI 2.1, the uh, Pecan, for as far as the clock frequency rating, is better now supported for 8K TVs, which had been an ongoing issue for a lot of people that were adopting that technology. I would suck, honestly. I would hate to spend that much money and have that happen. Like, I'm very curious to hear in the comments if anyone has had this happen. But moving on towards the fixes, as they go down to a siege of spectrums, 
we're looking at Rainbow Six joining on Smoke Appears since Pixelated No More. Vulcan in the foundation for as far as 4.0 in the X4 Cradle, Humanity. We're looking at the Games May Crash on the RTX 30 series No More. The blue screens, which used to occur in Samsung Odyssey G9s with the HDMI TV, should no longer be an issue, and joining that with the RTX 60 series, which had been a bigger issue for a lot of situations for the Watchdogs violation code. Now, depending on how you're doing that, the situation of watching it on top of YouTube. And what I would suggest getting around that one too, is you can always do a DDU, disconnect your Ethernet cable. So when you have downloaded the direct software, Nvidia doesn't do their Windows install. And as long as they doesn't do that and you do the perfect install and clean install, you never will have a watchdog error and that gets rid of that. It's very simple. I have a DDU video I suggest. I'll have tethered at the very end of the video if you like very curious or you're just tired of crappy installs. It happens, but there are always hoped and always a way to fix stuff as sunset overdrive comes down to a fix and the application for the display of random green corruption in depth of field is enabled for the in-game settings real track in the display port to the hdmi looking at the protocol for the converter and the limited of the 600 megahertz and the pixel clock now we have ampere and turing for as far as that architecture the gpu power consumption may increase in idle portions and these are all fixes which i'm hoping that are there so it's like i did notice that even looking at the benchmarks that it did come down about a degree even on my 20 series like but it's actually gone up a lot since the older series of like applications i, I liked mine running very low very like celsius is not a good thing i don't know why they keep running their cards hella hot but i mean i guess they're gonna drop it like it's hot moving on past that situation if we go towards the g-sync issue which had the higher refresh rate for as far as the consumption which happened to that hdr and screenshots the applications which were washed out inside of the hdr enable now for as far as important open issues i'll leave this directly over here and it has anything from batman arkham knight all the way down to some adobe issues i would highly suggest checking this out this link for as far as the sake of time we're going to go ahead and jump over to benchmarks Continuing on with DirectX 11, we can consume that the extreme scores so a lot more cooler settings that are basically going to go across and a little bit more of the 1080p department. As we look inside of the situations that the newer driver definitely does take a little bit more of a lead than the older driver by almost 100 just in the graphics department which is consistent. Now, it seems like that it's favoring with hardware accelerator off, but there was some framework that came down with Windows, which means they're probably going to be pushing some more framework which may I don't know where make your FPS happen. This is why you want to continue to toggle off and on your hardware accelerator. It sucks that you have to do this, but it's part of gaming, unfortunately, in today's standards, which brings us to the next fire, just fire strike. And there's a reason why I said it's fire, because this is lit. A little bit more than a percentage would have been nice, but I will take it. 1% more, and we're gaining, like, almost 200 points in the graphics point. If you look at where we're going for as far as total with a combination of physics, combination, and graphics score, it kills it. But again, it seems like it's favoring with hardware accelerator up. So if you are on the battlefield and you're like, oh my gosh, something is not right, toggle it off and on, reset the computer, see what happens, and start the application over again. If not, leave a comment. If you're probably not alone and either A, that game developer needs to like have an update or, well, unfortunately, Windows and or the tandemness of a new NVIDIA driver. The ecosystem that we live in today is just so tantalizing with pixels and the synchronization of, but with the exit of this, I think it's Port Royale time. It was the fun one. Almost consistently with hardware accelerator off and on for the newer driver, it seems almost like there's no changes, but then you look out of nowhere where the hardware accelerator on with the old driver and you're just like, what the hell? So I guess if you're doing ray tracing, the older driver is going to be the one trick pony with the hardware accelerator on at the moment you're just going to happen to get now it's not percentage breaking you're going to get to a 65 percent as you saw on direct x11 but how's direct x12 looking and with 4k we can already see a pullback so unfortunately it doesn't seem like they're favoring a lot of the direct x titles of the 12 variation but there isn't a lot of heavy hitting like development yet there is some yes but i think once the, a lot of game development shifts over we'll start seeing a lot more like DirectX 11 styled like where you just have your fire strike where it's just like hey that's kind of cool there's like an actual percentage but the drivers change and let's go ahead and look at just the 1080p of DirectX 11 going to 12 is there going to be just a surprise 
and it just gets weird because hardware accelerator on when the old driver wins by just a point or two of like maybe 50 points variable nothing super groundbreaking but if you look at the hardware accelerator off inside of the direct x 12 department out of nowhere you're looking at it being somewhat respectable so it seems like if you were playing sorry i just, i said i fluttered over to like my game scene where my camera apparently is just needing to wake up but moving on past that technological blooper of like the end of the patch notes what is going to happen if you're playing DirectX 11 games and titles or if you're noticing something where if you've upgraded toggle off your hardware accelerator off and on reset the computer it's more than likely going to be it for as far as DirectX like 12 it doesn't seem like they're giving a lot of fair support but again you can always toggle off and on depending on what application you're playing every game every ecosystem happens to be a little bit different Looking on past that for as far as Port Royale, I mean, you're better off just sticking with the same driver and, you know, using that ray tracing beautifulness and just the situation of having it at the end of the day with a hardware accelerator on. So that's going to be pretty much it for the patch note. If you're newer to the network, you can like, share and subscribe for more future content and game related game ready drivers from NVIDIA. AMD and when Intel comes, if they wanted to send me the, one of their GPUs, because I mean, they're like hotter than trying to find a freaking leprechaun with a pot of gold nowadays and i want to find both that'd be kind of cool actually you should subscribe to find out if i get a leprechaun or a gpu from intel anything would happen at that point in time and then look above there are the ddu as i mentioned before for most people have a nice day stay safe stay classy and i will see you guys and gals in the near future for more game and tech related news